Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the most common Chinese words about money in our daily conversations. Many of you might have already learned the word 钱 in Chinese for money. For example, 我有钱, I have money, or 我没有钱, I don't have money. But today we're not going to talk about 钱, this word. Instead, we're going to talk about your income and your outgoings. Let's get started. First part, we will talk about the incomes, which is 收入, 收入, or you can say 工资, 工资. For example, 他的收入很高, or 他的工资很高. So what kind of shouju do you usually have? The first one must be the basic earnings, right? Basic earnings in Chinese is 基础收入, 基础收入. If you are working for a company, then your 基础收入 is mostly referring to your salary. How do we say salary in Chinese? We can say 薪水. 薪水. 薪水 means the money you get from your work, whether the payment is made by weekly, monthly, or yearly. For weekly salary or wage, you can say 周薪. 周薪. 周 means week, 薪 means 薪水. But I believe most of the salaries are paid by monthly, which we call in Chinese 月薪. 月薪. 月 is month, 薪 is 薪水, 月薪. But for some high salary jobs, they might tend to evaluate the earnings by yearly. So they will need the word 年薪, 年薪. 年 means year, 薪 is 薪水, 年薪. In some other companies, their 基础收入, basic earnings, we also include some overtime payment, which is 加班费. 加班费. 加班 means work overtime. We all know that in many companies, they have a goal setting frameworks like KPI or OKR. Based on these kind of frameworks, we have performance bonus, which in Chinese we call it 绩效奖. 绩效奖. 绩效 is the performance at work. 奖 like a reward. 绩效奖, performance bonus. Then what about year-end bonus? Year is 年, n is 中. Bonus, we usually call it 奖. So that's it. 年终奖, 年终奖, year-end bonus. For some other jobs, they might have some different incomes. For example, the waiters in the restaurant, they will get some tip. The tip in Chinese is 小费, 小费, 小 is little, 费 means the money. For example, the overtime payment, do you remember it? 加班费, the same 费, 小费, tip. If someone is working as a sales, then they will get commissions after making a deal. The commission in Chinese is 佣金, 佣金 or 提成, 提成. What about if you are a writer? And then when you publish a book, you will get some money for that. The money is royalties in English. In Chinese, it's 版税, 版税. So far, we are talking about the basic earnings. Now, we will be going to talk about some extras, your extra earnings. In Chinese, we call that 额外收入. 额外 means extra. 额外收入, 收入, income. What are the 额外收入 do people have? The first one I think about is shares. 股票, 股票, shares. After you buy 股票, if the price increase, then you can get some benefits. We call that 收益, 收益. Beside 收益, you might also get the 分红. 分红 is dividend. But as I know, some people might think to buying 股票 or shares is too risky. So they tend to put their money into the bank. 
So they will have a deposit account in the bank. Deposit account. 存款账户。存款账户。存 means to save. Save money. 款 is money. 账户 is account. 存款账户 They will put all their savings into the 存款账户 Saving in Chinese is 积蓄积蓄 means the money you saved. After they put all their savings, 积蓄 into the deposit account, 存款账户 what will they get? They will get the interest. Interest in Chinese is 利息利息 But actually, between shares and deposit accounts, we also have many other choices to invest our money. For example, to buy 基金 which is a fund. What kind of extra money will you get after you are not working anymore? After you retiring? After you are retiring, that means you are getting old, so you have pension. Pension in Chinese is 养老金养老金 What about if someone loses his job before his retirement age? What kind of extra money will they get? In some countries, the government will give them the unemployment benefits. In Chinese, we call that 失业津贴失业 means unemployment or lose job. 津贴 is the money for helping you out, or even for students in college, you will have scholarship. Scholarship is 奖学金，奖学金 ，or 助学金，助学金 college grant. Now let's take a look at the outgoings, which we often don't know what are they. But in this part, we will only talk about the most common ones. For example, the payment for the house, the payment for the car, and the payment for the insurance. First, we will talk about the house. We know many people are. Buying a house with mortgage payment. Mortgage payment is 抵押贷款抵押贷款 If you bought a house by 抵押贷款 then you will need to pay for the 房贷 every month. 房贷 is house loan. House loan. And after you move into the house, you live in there. You need to pay for the utilities. Utilities. 水电费，水 water 电 electricity 费 money 水电费 Besides house, then it's car. For buying a car, young people might choose higher purchase, which in Chinese is 分期付款分期付款 So every month they need to pay the installment for the high purchase, which is 一期付款一期付款 After buying the car, you still have to pay. For example, the toll, 通行费，通行费 and the speeding fine, 超速罚款，超速罚款 I know in different country they all have different fine for breaking the traffic rule. There is a repayment of the high purchase. So re- repayment is 还款。还款，还 means to return. 款 is the money. Return money is 还款 When the repayment is overdue, we would say 还款逾期逾期 means overdue. Besides house and car, we will also have some other fee you need to pay every month. For example, the social insurance premium. The social insurance premium is 社会保险费 Or you can just call it 社保社保 and also the house and provident fund, 住房公积金住房公积金 or sometimes we can just call it 公积金 Back to the social insurance premium, it include different insurances. For example, 养老保险养老保险 which means endowment insurance. And also the medical insurance, 医疗保险医疗保险 medical insurance, unemployment insurance, 失业保险失业保险 employment injury insurance, 工伤保险
工伤保险 Last one is maternity insurance, which is 生育保险生育保险 So today we learned some basic earnings and also the extra earnings and outgoings, right? Including like the payment for the house, payment for the car, and also some insurance. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it and learn something from this video. If you have any other questions, please leave me a message below in the comment section. I will see you next time.